Hi, in this demo, I would like to show you some improvements that we have made available to ArcGIS Online Winter 2017 update. More specifically, with the aggregate points and summarize within tools, you now have an option to summarize your data using custom generated bins. Let's see an example. My ArcGIS Online web map here shows all the documented Ebola cases in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone from 2014 to 2016. The Ebola points are overlaid on top of the West Africa district boundary layer. As you know, we can use aggregate points tool to calculate how many cases of Ebola occurrence in each district. Because those districts vary in size and the count of Ebola cases in each district is not normalized by the district size or population, it's best to visualize our analysis results using the graduate symbols symbology. As we can see from the map, the size of the point symbols are proportional to the number of Ebola cases in each of the district. Another way to visualize patterns and clusters in our data is to aggregate the Ebola cases into equal-sized bins. This technique is called data binning and has become more popular because it allows us to normalize geography for thematic mapping. Now I would like to show you the improved data binning workflow in ArcGIS Online Winter 2017 update. Now I start the aggregate points tool. And the points that I would like to summarize is my Ebola points. Notice that in addition to aggregate points into polygons, I now have the option to aggregate to square or hexagon bins. I'm going to choose the hexagon option and specify the size of my hex bins to be 25 by 25 kilometers. And do not keep the bins that do contain any data. And I would like to summarize the total of number of Ebola counts in each of my hex bin. And I'll specify a name. And then go ahead, run the analysis. Because they are equal sized hex bins, I can view the results using a color ramp, which allows me to easily visualize the patterns of the Ebola outbreaks during this period. So in this demo, I showed the new option available in aggregate points, as well as in summarize within tools that allows you to create uh, custom sized bins when you summarize data. Thank you for watching the video. Please go ahead and try it out.